All right, so we're here getting a demo of a red combine. This is a 7240 Case IH 12-row Drago GT on it. Uh, first impressions, grain sample is uh, very, very clean and not not ground at all. Um, I mean, they do a great job, really great job uh, keeping that sample put together and intact and that's something I fight a little bit with my John Deere is uh, once in a while you'll grind corn with it and that's it gets to be frustrating but otherwise uh, I fight on this machine sieve loss a lot more than I do on my deer so that's kind of annoying but um, I think we can I think we've pretty much got it figured out to where we're not losing too much corn out the back but it definitely was a little bit more difficult to set than the deer was um, all in all pretty comparable machines this one's really nice um, I like the technology in the deer better I like the handle better you know just some minor things that you know just personal preference that's what I'm used to but I'm sure I could get used to this one too so it's a nice machine. I really like the 12 row head. That uh, makes my cart driver have to really hustle, but it's nice. morning headed back to the farm here this morning um, it was last Thursday night when we had the case combine and then we quit that night and it, it's pretty much been raining every other day since so we're uh, gonna get going here this morning I got to unload a truck coming to deliver some foliar fertilizer for next year just trying to get everything in our possession as much as we can with all these shortages going on. I just want to make sure we got everything. So they're going to drop that off this morning. And then when we get done with that, we're going to get going combining and shell some corn here for the next two, three days. And after that, hopefully we'll uh, be able to finish our beans and then switch back and hopefully finish the rest of our corn so hopefully we can get a lot done here in the next couple weeks the forecast looks pretty good I think so we'll see how things go hey everyone we're out here shelling corn again finally it's a little greasy on top but it's actually uh, it's drier out here than it looks there's sticking to the tires just a little but hardly at all and uh, probably only a top six inches to a foot that's wet underneath of that still powder so we're gonna need more rain to fix our drought but that can wait till after we're done combining so we got uh, 20 acres left in this farm it looks like then we've got another farm that we've got about I think 40 acres left in knock that out and then uh, Either late tomorrow or Monday, we'll probably switch over to beans, try and finish up our beans, and uh, maybe do some for a customer of ours or a neighbor of ours. So we'll see how that goes. Try and get this field done, and then that other field. These are the, these are the two fields that need uh, cover crop seeded, so we want to get them done quick so that. Uh, while we're cutting beans, our grain cart driver guy can uh, run the seeder in our 
knocked out quickly after that, and we got uh, about 400 acres of corn left to do after that. So we're, as long as the weather holds up, we should be moving along pretty quickly here. But anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's a crisp, beautiful fall day. It's a nice day to shell some corn in October.